Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm very excited because in the video today, I'm gonna to be unboxing my second pair of Helm boots. Now, real quick, before I get started, um, if you haven't checked out my interview with the president and CEO of Helm Boots, Brad Day, I will leave a link to that video in the description below. It was a very informative video. I learned a ton about the brand, about the personality and the families and the people behind the brand. And that's something that I appreciate more than anything. So go check that out if you're interested. All right, and so let's get to the boots. So this is a special pair of boots because this is gonna be my first ever side zip boot. Very nice boot bags. This is a pair of Helm. I love that. All right. Look at those babies, wow. So this is going to look a lot like a Chelsea boot, but actually as you rotate it the other way, you see that it is not a Chelsea. It is in fact a side zip boot. Now Viberg has run some of these and they've sort of brought them back onto the scene, but Helm is doing something very unique with all their boots, all their designs. They sort of reinvent the classics and they do a really good job doing that. And uh, I was actually talking to my buddy Nick at Stridewise. He's also very impressed with this brand. He loves that white midsole there that they do in all their soles. Me in particular, I'm, I'm really a big fan of the sole construction, how they do basically a rubber topi half sole right here. What they do is they carve out one layer of the leather outsole. I'm a big fan of leather soles, but they meet you halfway there by carving out a layer of the leather and then probably bonding and then stitching in this half sole here. It's very labor intensive. It's the most expensive part of the boot and definitely a detail not to miss when you're looking at helm. I also really like the helm inverted relief here that they have inscribed in the bottom of the boot as well. And so let me read a little bit about these side zips. Their side zip model is called the Pablo boot. Simplicity is key in timeless design. Taking a solid classic and adding small touches to modernize is the goal. With that in mind, the influence for the Pablo comes from a, an Italian moto boot and a more European influenced zipper boot. The fine line sole adds traction to the leather bottom while keeping a slimmer profile and well fitting upper making the Pablo boot a special wear as much as daily hero on the street. Runs large, we recommend sizing a half down. Yes, actually I reached out to the Helm team because when these got in, I could tell immediately they were a half size too big. But my previous pair of Helm boots, this is called the Zind boot. I went with a size nine, which is true to size for me. I'm a nine Brannock and the fit is perfect. I'm very well seated within the boot. They do feel just a hair long, but it's nothing to be worried about because my foot is perfectly seated within that boot. These nines, however, on the Pablo boot, oh yeah, they definitely look to be a half size longer in length to me, or maybe not. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, both are size nine. And as you can see, it looks like the Pablo is a little bit longer, but the length isn't so much the problem. The problem is you can see that very full rounded out last on the Pablo boot. That's called the 405 last. As you can see on the Zin boot, the last is a little bit more tapered out towards the toe. It's gonna close in on, on your toes as you get closer to the tip here. So I'm very well seated within this. I slipped my foot in there. And the other big thing with anything like this type of a boot, like a Chelsea boot or a zip up boot is going to be the instep. I could tell immediately with really thick socks, they'd work, but I'd be much happier with going a half size down. So yeah, so for that reason, I'm actually sending these back and they are sending me out another pair. That's one really good thing about Zind. They have a wonderful exchange service. There's no guesswork, there's no risk. If you get the wrong size, you send them back. It's no big deal. Their customer service is definitely top notch. So thank you Helm team for that, for making my life really easy with this exchange. A little bit about the construction. So we've got a Blake Rapid Stitch Welt construction. The shell is made of full grain Balthazar leather in black medial zipper closure. So we've got a medial zipper closure. 
Balthazar, by the way, my buddy Nick at Stridewise says that is the coolest name for, for a leather he's ever heard of. I must agree. I think Chrome Excel's pretty cool. I think Crazy Horse sounds cool, though I've never seen a Crazy Horse that I really liked. But Balthazar, definitely one badass name for a leather. <laughs> it's fully lined with natural leather. It's got a Helm Signature white midsole. The sole is a fine line sole. The fine line is going to be indicative of these really fine ridges coming across basically this topi layer, this rubber layer here. It runs large. If you're in between sizes, we suggest sizing down a half size. I also suggest that um, if you're if you go true to size in most of their lasts, this is probably definitely going to be one of their bigger lasts. It's resolable, seasonally updated sock liner, hand stitched accents over seam detail on the back, handcrafted in Brazil. They basically do everything in Brazil now. They source everything, they build the boots there, and then they ship them up here, completed. It really streamlines their process, makes the boots even cheaper. When Helm was just getting started, their boots were more expensive. They were like four, I think in the $400 range. Now you can get most of their boots for like 295, 250, super duper good prices for what you're getting here. Yes, and the hand-stitched accent over the seam detail on the back, that's right here. Helm does a tremendous job with their small details. Small but robust details is what they really focus on with their designs. And yeah, what they're talking about here is these two really nice thick stitches back here. They're going to be mostly decorative, but they also serve a functional purpose in that they reinforce the back heel stay to the back portion of the boot there and so that is super cool so yeah we've got the zipper side obviously you zip that down get your foot in there and then you have the opposite side which is double stitched down this balthazar leather is really waxy really supple stuff it's got a really nice personality about it it's a really great leather because you could beat it up and not condition it and really form a really good patina or you could shine the crap out of these and they'd also look fantastic. That's one thing that I would say this Balthazar is a really great middle of the road leather. You could beat it up or dress it up depending on what you want to do with it. You know, certain leathers like veg tans, once they're super beat up, super patinated, there comes a point where there's like no salvaging them and turning them dressy again. This is a leather that you always have that option to dress it up or beat it up one of the two yeah so that's that's a really nice leather this is going to be an older stocked model so the balthazar leather actually comes from the bermudez leather tannery in the dominican republic their bermudez tannery is also known as being a rum maker they're a very skilled family but recently zind has moved away from sourcing from the bermudez tannery and instead rely exclusively now on the Krumenauer tannery. So that's what they're doing now. And yeah, so most of the reviews are saying that it's it mostly runs large. We do a sizing comparison here. So here are my Vibergs in size eight and a half. And here is the Helm boot in size nine. As you can see, the eight and a halfs, these are some of the biggest fitting boots on me. I actually should be wearing a Viberg eight. I've been wearing these Vibergs comfortably for years. As you can see, the toe box has reduced volume and this Chrome Excel stretches back down, which grips to my foot very nicely. Compare that to the Zin boot. The Zin boot looks to me like it's got more volume in the toe there. And for that reason, it just feels a little bit too roomy when I put it on. So yeah, like I said, I started sizing down a half in this too. So this is basically my biggest fitting boot and it's basically the same size as my biggest fitting boot. So. When it starts encroaching on this, I know it's time to size down. <laughs> Let's do a Grant Stone comparison here. All right, so this is a Grant Stone eight and a half. Zin boot nine, yeah. The Grant Stone looks like it's a little bit shorter to me, less volume in the toe box. This is, I love that Leo last in an eight and a half. The Wolverine thousand miler. All right, so yeah, that Wolverine in eight and a half, that's a perfect fit for my foot. You can see how much shorter it is in comparison to the Helm Pablo on the 405 last. But yeah, reviews are just raving about this boot. The reviews do say it runs a little large, but people are saying that, yeah, it's a very classy looking boot. It can be dressed up and down. It can be dressed with slacks, 
or worn casual with jeans, I concur with that. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to try a side zip is because Viber sort of brought the side zips back onto the scene and made them cool again, at least in my head. <laughs> so I wanted to try some, um, and unfortunately they don't, Helm doesn't have any other black Pablos remaining in a size eight and a half, so I'm actually getting their brown pair next. So I'll be doing a review on those next, so stay, stay tuned for that. Yeah, a lot of people in the reviews are saying Helm are, my, are the only boots I'll buy. Very, very well rated reviews. The look of the Pablo is so nice. It really, it combines the best of a Chelsea boot while being a, a really cool, having a moto type look about it. This is like a really cool motorcycle boot. I could see, you know, dressing these up with, wearing these with like denim and then like a black shot uh, perfecto jacket. That would be like the perfect outfit right there. Before I continue the video though, I actually, like to take a moment and include a word from my sponsor. Today's sponsor is Allie, the Vintage Feather on YouTube. She actually, <laughs> she's not really a sponsor. I sent her some bracelets and so she uploaded this video. I thought it was very awesome. So, so let's take a listen to Allie. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I wanted to pop on here real quick and show you some things that I just got in the mail. I am so excited because I got some bracelets from Dale. I will make sure to tag him right here just in case you wanna also check out bracelets. Um, he also makes really cool packs and stuff like that. So very, very cool stuff. Um, but anyway, I am wearing my double cuff right here and my single, so they actually look really cool. They actually really match my outfit today. <laughs> I told him I like to match my belt my boots and so we also made my cuffs match my belt and my boots um, but yeah I was also a little worried because I have really tiny wrists as you can see they are very small so a lot of bracelets actually don't fit me um, so I told him that and he was able to make it work so thank you so much Dale all right so let's look at the other boot wow yeah really really nice job to the helm team I am always very impressed by their work we got nailed in heel block. We got the helm inverted relief here. We got the Blake stitch, white midsole, this zip up, very robust zipper here. This is a YKK zipper. To my knowledge, that is a very good quality zipper. Boots very well lasted. And yeah, just look at them. They're beautiful. I wish they fit me. This is a great, great black boot. So anyways, that'll do it for now. What do you guys think about these boots? These will be back at Helm headquarters here shortly, so if you're a size nine, they are available. I will leave links to these boots in the description below, as well as all Helm footwear. Uh, you can click those and check out their website if you're interested. They've got a lot of amazing styles right now, up to and including, I'm not much of a sneaker guy, but they do have really attractive sneakers. They also have their new Heinz boot, which is basically their version of the Chukka. Again, an amazing reinvented looking Chukka. It's their updated chukka with the softest leather they've ever used called Neymar with a padded collar around the ankle. It's instantly com comfortable, requires no break-in. The Zind is probably my favorite of theirs. Bradley, named after the president and CEO. It's a very nice looking Oxford cap toe, again with a modern twist. The Wilson is their version of the loafer. Again, very modernized. They have another side zip called the Knox boot. They have it in natural and black, but it's got like more of a sneaker sole on there. What's also really cool that I found out is that Brad's brother is the owner of Death & Co. And they've done collaborations in the past, specifically the Death & Co. Rider boot in black. Looks like they have a couple sizes, one in six, one in seven and a half. The rider looks like more of a classic mountaineering type hiker boot. I will leave links to the Helm website below that you can check out if you're interested in anything that you saw today. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I will see y'all in my next video.